Okay, I just wanted to make a short video showing my inductive ballast and this is what I use to current limit um, my high voltage transformers. What it is is it's four large chokes connected in series and I have it plugged into my panel right here. Um, I built this panel, it's got two meters. The meter on the left shows a voltage and let me see if I can get closer. And it's not switched on right now so it's showing zero volts. And then the meter on the right shows how much current we're drawing. It's an ammeter and it's switched off right now so we're not drawing any current. And it is freezing cold in here. I'm out in the garage. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, inductive ballast and um, I have it plugged into the panel and I'm going to switch it on. You can see how it works. And I'll try not to shake the camera too much. And you can actually hear them humming. <laughs> Um, they don't get hot at all. They stay ice cold, so they could probably actually handle a lot more current. If I wanted to, um, since all the chokes are connected in series, if I wanted to have more current, I could just bypass one or two chokes or three chokes, however many, uh, many I wanted to, to do. Um, right now there's four of them connected in series. I could probably bypass like two of them and just have two chokes. And you can see how much current we're drawing. Right now, looks like we're close to 8 amps. So, um, the way this works is it acts as a load. If I connect this to a transformer that doesn't have a current limiting, like a microwave transformer, um, if I put this in series with the transformer's primary winding, it'll limit the current. That way, no matter when we short out the transformer, no matter what, it'll never draw more than 6 or 8 amps. Um, if you don't have a ballast, uh, with a transformer that's not current limited, if you draw an arc from the secondary side, it'll short out the transformer and it causes a current surge um, and it'll just end up tripping circuit breakers and probably overheating the transformer. So you're, it's a better idea to use a ballast um, and that's what I built here. So um, anyway, I just wanted to, you can actually hear I'm humming. <laughs> um, I guess that's it. I just wanted to show you how this works and uh, it's freezing out here so I'm going to stop the video now. <laughs>